So, as you guys may have heard, um, Tumblr's going to shit. A big reason for this that um, has been really talked about in, you know, everywhere is that they're banning their 18 plus content. Considering that Tumblr has a history of just completely going against its user base, a lot of the decisions that, decisions that they've made have been very disliked by the community, and they, I really feel like Tumblr really doesn't, um, they don't really care about testing things with their people. They just kind of are like, this is how things are going to change. You guys better get used to it. But the biggest reason this time is that they're deciding to ban all their 18 plus content. This is huge for Tumblr because unlike all of the other changes that they've made, which is something that the user base just has to kind of get used to, this is destroying a lot of their user base. A lot of people go there because they're expressing their um, LGBTQ sexuality, LGBTQ sexuality, they're posting their NSFW art, and a lot of people may view this as a bad thing, but people go there to post their NSFW art because they're expressing themselves. They're going there to post this stuff because they literally have nowhere else to post it, and you can't just expect people to not draw this. You know, it's it's part of who they are, it's part of who they're trying to reach out to and who they're trying to talk to, especially with the LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ community. I can't speak. So that's, and that's a really huge issue. And that's, I think, what the difference is with a lot of the updates that they made in the past. So I know Tumblr has rolled out a lot of these things and a lot of people are saying in the past that Tumblr would die because of it. But this one, I feel like, could be genuine because they're getting rid of half of the people that use their website, or at least stifling them a lot. And instead of taking care of the actual issue, which was getting rid of child pornography and porn bots, they decided to just get rid of it all instead of actually taking the time to go in there and really fix what the real issue was. They decided to just take care of the entire general sense of it. And when you do that, like a lot of companies do already do this, they ban their NSFW content already, but they Tumblr already had it in them, and to just get rid of it like that with so many of their people already being integrated into this system is really not a good thing. And I personally, I've never posted NSFW art, so I stay on Instagram really, I don't really post on Tumblr, but for the people that do, you know, they make their money off of this, they get exposure because of this stuff that they post. And it wasn't really an issue of them accidentally reaching kids, because half of these people would mark their content as NSFW just so that children wouldn't see it, and then eventually Tumblr would go and roll through with their you have to be 18 and up in order to view this. And that, at first, people didn't like, but it was a far better decision than just getting rid of everything that they have, because now there's really nowhere else to go. And I mean, you have DeviantArt, but there was this whole scandal with DeviantArt where they were selling their users' work without giving them any money and sort of making money off of the people that were posting without giving them any credit. So people don't even really want to go on DeviantArt, even though you can post stuff like that, stuff like that there, because it's just, nobody likes that platform. And so people stayed on Tumblr, and now they have nowhere else to go. And I could be wrong about that, maybe there's a lot of websites that there are for you to be, but they're not really mainstream, and I don't think anything is going to change on Tumblr until Tumblr has a rival. Which is why I partially think that they roll out a lot of things that their user base doesn't like, because they have this power. Nobody else is like them. Nobody else houses these people like they do. And so they do whatever they want. But when you have a rival platform, then that I think that kind of forces them to take a step back and be like, okay, our users don't like this. We can't do this. But for now, they're going to do it. And maybe they won't. Maybe with all the backlash that they've been receiving, even from like big news media, like, like this one right here, hopefully, hopefully that will change their decision but as of now people are kind of up in arms about it and i can understand why um i can understand why tumblr did this because because they were getting losing their sponsors and got pulled off of the ios store but they didn't correct the decision correctly so i guess um if you guys have any thoughts about this leave it down in the comment section below and i'll try my best to respond thank you guys for listening i had to release my opinion on this just because i personally am an artist and i relate with the struggles of the people that are having to go through this right now, even if it doesn't directly affect me, it's gonna affect a lot of people in a lot of really negative ways. So, um, thank you guys for watching, leave a comment in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching, bye!